she got the one that deals her off the window. I mean, it's it true to that. <laughs> Job by Harrison Burton getting enough of a jump to get in front of Eckes. But look at him all the way three, four wide. How about Brandon McReynolds all the way to the top of the racetrack. He's got the four of Todd Gillen going to join him up there. How about three wide off of turn two down the back stretch? Burton getting a good start there, as you mentioned. Getting it wound up now. He's got Eckes still taped to his bumper. McReynolds and Gillen don't have enough help to run over that inside line. Hard to get that momentum built up as quick as quick as they need it to be able to go up there and fight for that lead right now. Jim Burton watching on. Definitely feeling the emotions here. Three laps to go. Kristen X is going to try to make the move. He's going to have to have some help by Fred Holmes. That's who I would be talking to right now, unless Christian X racing for the championship is just satisfied to finish second here. I don't think that 18 year old is going to be satisfied. No one's ever satisfied with finishing second. It comes down to you got to have the right situation to make the right move. And if you can't, you may have to, you may have to consider that, that big picture of the championship at the end of the season. Remember, we're not supposed to lock bump bumpers here in the ARCA Racing Series. We're from ARCA officials telling them to split up now. They did, briefly. It's so hard to call that because all you have to do is give an inch and hit him again and give an inch. But if you keep bumping, you just can't lock on. And stay hooked up. They've done it. to fourth. They're pushing the envelope there. They are driving those things, too. They are out of shape. They are making headway. This is going to get interesting inside the oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Here we go. Another, situa another situation where the pushing went wrong. They're being so aggressive and it's working. It really was. It's just such a fine line. And with these cars, when the numbers don't match up perfect, they, they lift. And as soon as it lifts up and you don't give them time to correct it, you really you just run into bad situation. And that's important. They were, they were coming. They were, they were coming in. Time way. Stopped on the back stretch. Brad McReynolds in the 28, Gusty in the 32, and Ivy Munter. She had a little bit of damage there in that 55 car. What the health driver hanging it up at the end. Only getting his way through a yellow flag situation. And then Natalie Decker, so much talent over there at the TGR Crosley team. But a former sprint car guy helping to call the shots. And Frankie Kerr. Car actually going on out of Volusia County right now. How about 18-year-olds uh, running one, two, three right now? Unbelievable. Just don't, don't do the math on that, nope. Dave. <laughs> no, please. They're making me feel old. <laughs> Sean Corr is sitting in the number six spot right now. He's going to have an opportunity to win. The next time by, they will see the green and white together. Overtime will decide the final lap here of the Lucas Oil 200 driven by General Tire. And as it comes out, it does so with Harrison Burton getting a nice jump. Look at the side drafting by Christian Eckes. How about that push by Todd Gill in the black car pushing Harrison Burton? The inside road definitely driving away from the field. But there's still over two miles to settle this one. What a great job by Todd Gillen. But are they too far out there, Chris? You know, they have some momentum when they get there. The top line looks to be making some headway. Into turn three. Two corners and a trial to go to see if an 18 year old can win a 200 mile race. Gillen looks outside. He has Eckes lined up behind him. And it's going to be a drag race to the finish line, and it will be the 18 year old picking up his third ever arc of win, but not bigger than the Daytona 200. General Tire pushed by his mother. How about that Lucas Oil 200 winner getting the job done? He doesn't want to back off. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I 
trying to make him say that was the Packer flag. <laughs> what a great job, though, by his teammate in the truck series, Todd Gillen, giving him that push on that restart. That's what made it. They got the good jump. They hooked together, pushed him outside of the 15 car, and basically they had it to themselves all the way to the start-finish line. You saw the emotion of a mother, Kim, nervous energy now. I guarantee you there's going to be some tears flowing around. Billy has a little bit different look on his face than he does as well. <laughs> well yeah, that's go, doesn't it? I think everybody out can take that deep breath in. Okay. We just witnessed a little history here. His dad picked up a win here in Daytona during the summer months. And now his 18-year-old son with a window net down comes by the start-finish line and knows he has won the Lucas Oil 200 driven by General Tire. And normally you don't want your 18-year-old to have too much fun with the car. <laughs> Do you think you'll, this might be, will give him an exception to I the would, rule I would here? say this might be. 